All right, guys. So what we have here today is, you know, just a standard Xbox, whatever. Turn it on. We got three rings. Now this has been going on for just a little bit, but we figured out a way to get past this, or at least my dad did. And you know the old theory with, um, you know, just tap it with the hammer, or whatever. So the way we're gonna fix this, and I forgot to do the intro. This is a oh, I'm at 16 here. But yeah, so the way we're going to fix this is you come to, I'm not sure if it works on either side, but usually it's the side closest to the uh, the memory card ports. Come aside, come all the way down here to the vents are at, and you just give it a good smack. Believe it or not, this kind of works. So, so you do it again, it doesn't want to work, and come over here, right around here, and you go. Okay, so I didn't hit it hard enough that time. I'm a little scared that it's gonna fall, so just uh, give me a second here. You wanna hold it at the top and then just go. So let's see if that one worked there. Boom, works just fine now. Now, it's not gonna work perfectly every time, you know, you're gonna have to I'll turn on TV here. You have to do that every once in a while. No big deal though, you just give it a nice smack and as soon as the TV turns on, I'll show the picture or whatever. Oh, it's on channel. Hold on, give me a second. And there it is, simple. Well, it works just fine. MLB's in, my brother's playing it last night. Whatever, all we know is that it works just fine now. And it might um, cut out on you during gameplay, but you know, you just turn it back on, it'll work just fine. No big deal there. But yeah, that's how you basically fix it, three rings, or at least that's how we fix it here. I'm not sure if this is gonna work for all uh, original Xbox 360s, but it works.